In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own HDRI images in Blender. So I'll show you how to create your own custom HDRIs, and then you can use it to light your scenes. And I have a free download of this HDRI as well as the project files on my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. So if you'd like to download the project files for this tutorial as well as getting the HDRI that I've created, I'll have the links in the description to the free download on my Gumroad and Patreon. And if you'd like to help support the channel you can throw a dollar or two into the tip box on gumroad before you purchase and that's a great way to help support me and this channel and if you'd like to help support the channel further then checking out my gumroad store and patreon page are great ways to help support the channel so real quick i'm just going to show you how i set up my 3d scene but you can create an hdri with any 3d scene that you've created in blender so i just added a plane here and i also just added some basic objects and then i just added this uv grid texture on on all of the objects. And then what's really important is that you have good lighting and lighting that you want for the HDRI. Um, so I just added in this sky texture here and I played around with some of the settings. And so you can see in rendered mode, this is how it looks. So we have this nice blue daylight here and then we also have a bright light shining on the objects. And then I did also add this sunlight right here just because I wanted to add some more bright lighting on the world. So what you wanna do is you wanna add a camera and you wanna put the camera in the very center of the scene you've created. So you can just press shift a and then go right down here and add a camera so then just center the camera to wherever you want it to be and I just have the camera pointed off on the horizon now there are some very important settings that you change to the camera so I'm just going to select the camera and then I'm gonna click right over here on the object data properties to go into the camera settings so if I just go into rendered mode to preview this right over here on the lens you can see the lens type is set to perspective but to render an HDRI image I don't just want to preview one view I want to be able to see the entire 360 image so I want to be able to preview everything that's around the camera so what I'm going to do is click on this type and I'm going to instead change it to panoramic but I don't want it to look like a fisheye because I don't want it to be circular with that black area right there so on the panorama type I'm going to change this to equirectangular and now you can see that you're actually previewing the entire 360 image from the camera's perspective now the other really important thing is to change the aspect ratio so I'm going to click right back over here on the output properties and right here on the format I need to change the resolution so that there isn't any stretching so I'm going to change the X to 2048 so 2048 and then on the Y I'm going to change that to 1024 so 1024 and that way it's now the correct aspect ratio so we shouldn't have any stretching now if you want to change the resolution and the amount of detail then you can change that with the resolution right here so because this is an HDRI image it's going to be really big and stretched all around the world and so I do want to make it pretty big so that we can see that detail so on the resolution here I'm going to change this to 400 and that way it's going to be much higher quality and then if you click right over here on the render properties on the sampling I'm just going to render this with 25 samples because this is a pretty simple scene it doesn't have too many complex materials or lighting so I can just get away with 25 samples um, and that way it'll render faster and then I'm also going to turn on the denoising in the render so that it will denoise the image and make it nice and smooth so I'll just go file and then save this and then I can just press F12 or click on render and then render the image and the render finished so if you zoom in here you can now see how high quality that is so after it's rendered you can just click right here on image and then you're going to click on save as now right down here I'm just going to rename this to tutorial I've already created another one but I'll just call this one tutorial and then it's really important that you save it to the correct format because PNG is just going to be a PNG image and we don't want it to be just an image we want it to actually be an HDRI so over here on the file format if you press N to open up the side panel we want to change this to radiance HDR and that way it's going to actually save it as an HDR image and then you can just click on save as to save that image so I'm now going to open up my other blender file and we can just add this into the world to preview it. All right, so I've just added some basic objects and I added some basic materials onto them as well so that we can preview the HDRI. So to add in the HDRI, you're gonna go right over here to the world properties and then click on new to add in a new world. Now right here, we don't want this to be set to color. So we're gonna click on the yellow dot and you're gonna go right down here to texture and then go down here and add the environment texture. And that way we can add the HDRI. So we'll just click on open and that'll take you to the file browser and then we just want to locate 
to where we've saved the HDRI. And I'm just gonna double click on this to add it in. So we can now go into rendered mode. Um, you can press the Z key and then hold down the Z key, move your mouse up and let go to go into the rendered view. And there we have it. So you can now just zoom around there and you can see the 360 image. So if you kind of look up here and look down there, it's a completely 360 image. And if you look here at your objects, you can see that, that looks really nice. So we have some nice lighting there and you can see there's some nice reflections there in that sphere. So as you can see, creating your own HDRIs are actually really easy to do. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. That is how you create your own HDRIs for Blender. And again, if you'd like to download my HDRI as well as the project files for this tutorial, so these Blender files, I'll have a free download of the project files with the link in the description on my Gumroad and Patreon. And if you'd like to help support me and my YouTube channel, then checking out my Gumroad and Patreon is a great way to help support the channel. So that's going to be it for this video. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.